Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. It's Tuesday. That means it's time for another Tiny Tidy. Tiny Tidy Tuesdays is an ongoing collab hosted by Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out her channel. I'll also put a link for the playlist so you can check out all of the videos created by the amazing ladies who have been on our team doing tiny tidies every week. And we also get a few extras in each week. So if you create content and you want to do a tiny tidy along with us, you just let Sunday Dawn know on Monday and she'll put you on the playlist for Tuesday. So it's an open collab. But we do have a core unit of tiny tidiers or team tiny tidy. So we try to do one every week if we can. But we get some new people in every time. So you could be one of them if you've got a tiny tidy. So don't forget to check out that playlist as well. For now, let's go see what I got going on. And if you've got something you want to tidy up, grab your stuff and come on, we'll do it together. My tiny tidy is going to be what's in this little suitcase thing. I know it's a Christmas looking box thing, but what's inside is sewing stuff. This is nowhere near all of my sewing stuff. I have a lot of sewing stuff. Most of it is down in the basement. This for me was kind of a basic um, sewing kit. But now that I'm not really um, sewing very much, I think that I probably need to narrow it down even further and um, try to figure out what a basic sewing kit is for me now at this stage because um, I've already been giving away my fabric. I did keep a few pieces for a couple projects, so I want, if I have thread to match that, I'll want to keep that. But, um, yeah, I don't need, I don't think I need to keep all of my stuff anymore. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Because sewing has been a part of my life my whole life. When I was a little girl, before I was even in school, my grandmother taught my sister and I how to sew. She would give us um, Kleenexes and she gave us needle and thread and she taught us how to make stitches um, when she would come over to our house. So, you know, and she sewed, my mom sewed, my sister sews, and um, so it's just always been a part of my life. And I don't know, that's going to be weird, I guess you would say, to not have that be a big part of my life, but you know, I just, I'm not doing that much sewing, and I've already let a lot of my fabric go, so I might as well just see if I can't make a basic sewing kit that makes sense for this stage of my life, the stage when I'm not really sewing a lot. Now, I have a couple ways I could do this. I could try to just, you know, take one thing out at a time and do, like, Dana K. White's No Mess method of decluttering, but I don't think that's going to work, um, because I think I need to see what all I have, and then, um, decide what I want to put into the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out, put it on the floor, and put it into categories, and then take the things that I think are a basic thing and put those back into the box. And then make my decisions that way. And then whatever doesn't get put back into the box can either go down with my other sewing supplies, which I will be going through at some point, or I can just go ahead and let it go. And frankly, I don't know what that's going to be right now. I don't know what decisions I'm going to be able to make as far as that goes, because I don't know what's in here for sure. Um, I'm just going to have to see. I'm just going to have to wait and see. I found this in here. And so I thought, well, what in the world did I have something wrapped up in it? I took it apart. There's nothing in it. It's just a napkin or a paper towel with a rubber band around it. Um, I'm sure it had purpose at one point, but honestly, I don't know what it was. So I'm going to say I can let that thing go. <laughs> These are some more of the I don't know why that is in this box category. <laughs> I got these when I was uh, making some masks. I think I ended up maybe using two of them. That was about it. So, yeah, I think probably I can let those go. Crochet hook. 
A lighted crochet hook. Seam ripper. Those are handy. But I think I probably have more than one. We'll see. And let's see. A thimble and some straight pins. And some more thimbles. I think that's a little crochet hook. Or maybe it's broken. Yeah, I think maybe it's broken. Yeah, it looks like it's broken, so I think that can go. I think this can probably go. Yeah. That's probably necessary. Let's see. Um, I have three of those over there already, so I'm thinking this one maybe can go, unless... There's something special about it. Let's see. Is it a different size or something? It's thick. It's it's really a lot wide, more wide than the other ones. But I'm not sure that that's necessary for anything. Um, yeah, might might be letting that go. Let's see. Some elastic. I think I got that when I was making masks too. Some little beads. Yeah, those are cool. Some jingle bells. Everyone needs jingle bells in their sewing kit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in here. Oh, look. Another one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Another thimble and some straight pins. Or straight pins. Air rub thimble and some safety pins, sewing machine needles, those I probably have to keep. Okay, so now we can kind of see into here a little bit, and as you can see, it's mostly just a bunch of, you know, random sewing stuff. Um, here's another one. <laughs> I think I don't need that many of those. Um, yeah, a thimble, or a, what do you call it, a bobbin. For the sewing machine. Oh, a whole bunch of them that are going to fall out because the tape is open. Yeah. Okay. This is a little unfinished pin cushion. A little kitty cat. But not finished. You know, I probably, that's probably what I need to have a little kit for what I need to put the rest of it together. It's not very cute turn out quite as I had intended that maybe why I didn't finish it wasn't looking as cute as I wanted oh and there's some scissors in here some more needles let's see there's some fabric which I don't think I will be doing anything with that so I think I can let that go for sure Extension cord, because when I'm using my sewing machine, I guess sometimes I need that. And lots of thread. So, okay. And I, this is a um, little kit I put together um, so that when I needed to just take the little kit with me, I could. Um, it's kind of gotten overflowed at this point. It's too much stuff in there. But at one point, I could just carry that around with me. So that was pretty basic. So... Might be some stuff in there that I want to use. And I think these are for when you do quilts. Um, let's see, it says binding and hem clips. So you can just put the little clips on the ends of them. And it'll hold it together so you don't have to use um, straight pins to hold your pieces of fabric together. Um, so at least I think that's what they're for. I don't know. Um, okay, well, I'm going to get the rest of this out of here. And see if I can make some sense of this. And look at that. I don't think I need that many of those. I think we can get rid of some of this stuff. Hopefully this is easy. I don't know. We'll see. The contents of my sewing kit have spilled out across the floor. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun. I don't know. There's some things in here that I know right away I can let go of, and some things that I can keep, but they don't need to be in this kit. 
And I found this pen in here. I forgot I even had this pen. This is from my favorite sci-fi author, and it still works. It's not going to stay in my sewing kit. I'm going to put it with my desk so I can actually use it. Yeah. I didn't remember I had it, but that doesn't mean I'm getting rid of it. I'm keeping it. Okay, so what else we got here? Lots of thread. And I think for a basic sewing kit, I can probably get away with maybe just black and white. I don't know. That's pretty typical, right? And then there's some pretty buttons, but I don't think I need to have those in my sewing kit. Um, so yeah, and then I was just going to go ahead and get rid of the trash, but Pumpkin decided that was a good place to lay. So there's a bunch of things that are just trash. Laying, they're underneath pumpkins, though, so you can't see them. And let's see. Oh, this is going to be fun. This thing right here. Can you see that big mess there? There's a lot of straight pins and safety pins all in here. This thing is magnetic. Oops. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go through all that and sort those out. And I'm thinking I might just use this as the container to put my thread in and just say, okay, well, whatever fits in here, that's what thread I can have in my basic kit. So I'm going to use the um, Dana K. White's container method for my thread. And I think this would be a cute little thing to put the thread in. And they, they're tall enough. They're just, just the right height. See? So I think that'll work out well. And then I still have my little plastic bins here for dividers, and um, I haven't gone through that little bag yet. So now I've got to decide what actually should go into my basic sewing kit. I'm going to be putting all three pairs of these scissors in there. These are the little snipper type scissors. These are the bigger kind, and this is the kind that when you need to cut something and it needs to be flat um, when your scissors need to be flat so I'll keep all three of those and I did find another one of these seam rippers that's like this one but I like the pink better so I think I'm going to keep the pink one and this one can either go or it can go down in the basement with my other ones and then I also have a couple of smaller ones so yeah I'll have to see what to do with those and I might have one of these with my sewing machine. I'm not sure. I do want to keep one of those with my sewing machine and um, not just in this basic kit because it's kind of handy to have. So, yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Time to get busy figuring out decisions. This is what I ended up keeping for my basic sewing kit. I have scissors, um, I have a couple of measuring tapes. One is a 60 inch and the other one is a 120 inch. Um, I have thread in this little metal box. Um, I have bobbins and needles, that sort of thing for the sewing machine. And I have things for hand sewing as well. So pretty basic, um, but I think it has what I need in it. So that should work. And I also have a little pile of things here that um, I'm going to be giving away. And I have a little pile of trash stuff. Don't need any of that. And then I have some crafty things like buttons and crochet hooks and ribbon and things like that. I'm going to put this stuff in the basement with my other crafty things, and when I go through that, I will go through it all at the same time and make decisions then. Um, because I don't really know, I'm not keeping track of what I have taken down there. I don't really know what I do have, what I don't have. So I'm just going to do all of that at once rather than trying to remember what I've got and what I don't have. Because I still have to go through all that down there anyway, so might as well do it all at once. And then this stuff over here... Um, I have some sewing supplies that don't need to be in the basic kit, but some of them I might need them at some point, like 
there's more needles here and there's more um, different sizes of uh, straight pins some elastic I don't need to keep that in this basic kit but I might need that at some point so I'm gonna put all of these down in the basement with my other sewing things and like with the craft things when I go through my sewing stuff I can make decisions all at the same time and maybe let some more of it go why is it that I have this I don't need this anymore all the contents of this box have now been spread across the floor it's basically atrocious how much extra I have found all because I bought another when the first was not around. Most of these unnecessaries getting in my way are things I never needed. I should give them all away because someone else could use them and it's obvious I'm not. Half aren't even opened and the rest have been forgot. Based on that assessment, I can pretty well concede if I only keep the basics, I will still have what I need. Extras are just extra, and the rest are extra too. And I don't need all these extras when just basic things will do. Well, that's my tiny tidy for this Tuesday. Thanks for hanging around to the end. And if you're interested in seeing more of my videos, I do a monthly collab it's called 10 Minutes Better. Um, it's on the first Friday of every month. And it's just a little thing to show that you can get something accomplished. Even if it's not finished, you can make it better. And it's little. It's 10 minutes or around about there. And also, um, I do the, the Tiny Tidies on Tuesdays. And I am currently doing my extreme office declutter. And so my um, April um, 10 Minutes Better video will be out on April the 1st. And on April the 8th will be part five of my extreme office declutter. And I'm hoping it will be the last because I'm hoping that means that my office will be decluttered and I can move on to my garage because it needs it. <laughs> so thanks again for hanging out, guys. See you next time. Bye. For now, happy decluttering!